Hey everyone, welcome back. I've been away for quite a while, but now I'm here making a video of my essential art supplies. So this is my watercolor XL pad from Canson, and this is specifically for watercolor. However, you can also use other materials such as like markers, and I found that it works perfectly fine. My next art supply is the Cotman Winsor Newton watercolor palette. This is a 14 piece Cotman palette set that comes with a paintbrush so that's quite useful. It is also very small and portable however I don't like the pigment because a few of the colors are very neon which I don't prefer but I use a darker color to mute it down a bit. I really like that this palette um, allows the pigment to dry very opaque so that the color is very vibrant which is quite good in a artwork. I also did a review on this. If you want to check it out, I'll leave the link to it in the description below. So next up, I also have another watercolor pack. This is from Montmartre, which um, is a 12 pack with 12 milliliters of pigment in each tube. These paint, they're quite vibrant. When they dry, they get really chalky. So the consistency isn't that nice to work with. However, I would recommend these for beginners as I used this um, for the first time when I tried watercolour. Another art supply that I also enjoy using is the Crayola crayons. Um, there isn't really anything to say about this except that they're crayon and I use these for sketches in my sketchbook. They also have a variety of color options which is quite useful when you're creating a nice artwork. <laughs> And the moment that I've been waiting for is the Ohuhu markers. Um, these arrived like a few weeks ago and these have a chisel nib and a fine tip. I purchased this um, like a few weeks after the, wait, before the new Ohuhu markers came out. And I was kind of disappointed because they came up with brush markers that I could buy brush tips that I could buy so I got these for no reason but I will try to use these and hopefully buy new ones they also have numbers on the top of their tip to indicate the colors but overall the times that I've used these markers they are very pigmented so they kind of work well um, while blending in colors so you can get like a nice gradient effect so here are my gouache, this is from Reeves. I also did a review on this, um, if you want to check it out. Found that it was very hard to spread the paint because they were very thick. So I added like a few drops of water just to loosen up the consistency. I also have these watercolor pencils that I leave in my cupboard, like hiding underneath everything because I kind of don't use these that often. However, I am trying to use these as I really want to experiment with watercolor pencils and trying to get like some nice textures as they come with a wide range of colors. And last but not least, I have my Ohuhu sketchbook. These pages are quite thick, so the Ohuhu markers that I use with it, the paper holds up quite well. I also purchased these with the markers so I could use them. Uh, they come in two packs. These sketchbooks are quite large. When I first got them, they were extremely large, but as I got used to it and sketched in them, they kind of got normal, I guess. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. That's all for today, and I'll see you guys in the next one.